All right. Hello, everybody. This is Bob with Gamer Zach and Bob. It's a three-game marathon we have agreed here because both times, both questions have been wrong. On the last question, we checked it, and D and Lisp were both correct answers. So apparently there was five correct answers instead of four. So now we're going to play again. Super Greed. Same team. Let's do it. $25,000 question is for me, and Zach is still the captain. Here we go. Zach says hi to everyone. Here's a $25,000 question. Where is the... Oh, Lord. Well, Zach can see what that says. You all can see it as well. The Kre Kremlin. Kremlin. Sounds good. Moscow, Berlin, Paris, or Lening Leningrad? I have no idea. I hope Zach knows. I'm going with Berlin. I don't know, though. The Kremlin. Zach, do you accept or reject that? You reject, and you're going to go with Moscow. Is that what you're saying? Moscow. All right. Let's see if that's right. Is it Moscow? It is. Good thing Zach knew, because I did not know. <laughs> Terrible of me. All right, everybody's got $5,000. Zach, if you feel the need for greed, you can, or you can take the cash. He's going to go. I thought he would. All right. Here we go. It's time for the $50,000 question, and it's for player three. Let's see the question now, please. Which of these is not used as a vowel? Is it A, E, Y, X? Jeez, that's an easy question. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, X. Zach, accept or reject that answer? Like, I even have to ask, but I gotta ask anyway. It's in the rules. Zach doesn't know. No, he's kidding. <laughs> LOL, he puts. He accepts. All right. Is the correct answer X? What's the point of even revealing the answer? We all know that's right. Everybody's got $50,000. All right, now you can play for $75,000 if you feel the need for greed, or you can... Take the cash. What would you like to do, Zach? He's going to keep going. He feels the need for greed. Next question is worth $75,000. And let's see the $75,000 question right now. The question is, how many castaways were on Gilligan's Island? A show I love. Is it one, five, nine, seven, three? And player four says, seven. All right, Zach, do you accept or reject that answer? He accepts it. All right, let's see. Were there seven castaways on Gilligan's Island? There were seven castaways. All right. Now, the next question is worth $100,000. Everybody's got $15,000, Zach. Do you feel the need for greed? Zach says he didn't know I like Gilligan's Island. I do. I love all classic TV. All right, Zach is going on. He feels the need for greed. Here we go. I think my favorite classic show, though, is The Brady Bunch. That's my favorite one. I love that one. All right, $100,000 question. Which comic strip features Jason... And his iguana. Is it The Far Side, Peanuts, Foxtrot, Dilbert, Family Circus? Player five, select an answer. Foxtrot. All right. Accept or reject the answer, Zach. He accepts. All right. Is the correct answer Foxtrot? It most certainly is Foxtrot. All right, now, Zach, the game gets a little tougher at this point. You'll be depending on your teammates to answer the questions for you. And I have four right answers. Before you decide to continue on, let me give you the category. The category for the $200,000 question is... It's a good one, too. Music. Would you, do you feel the need for greed, or do you want to take the cash? He wants to go. Let's play for $200,000. But that sound means it's time for the Terminator. 
It gives one player a chance to challenge another player for his or her share of the pot. And I'll give the challenger $10,000, win or lose, just for challenging. And the loser will be out of the game. Let's go ahead and activate the Terminator now. Ooh, Terminator's chosen player four. Is that better to call out? I'll give you $10,000, win or lose. Challenge me! Oh! All right, here we go. All right, player four gets $10,000 just for challenging. And now, when are we playing for $80,000? Loser will be out of the game. Here we go. I hope I get this. Here we go. Leap year occur on how many years? That's every four. And that's right. Every four years is leap year. And I got it. So I'm staying in the game and player four gets to keep the $10,000 just for challenging. Thank you, Zach. He said good job to me. All right. Here comes a $20,000 $20, question. Which of the following are village people characters? Hey everybody, YMCA with me. Construction worker, Indian, sailor, stooge, biker, teacher. Now Zach, you've earned a greed freebie. Would you like to use your freebie to eliminate one wrong answer? He says, no, not now. Okay, player three, select an answer, you're first. Sailor is what he says. All right, player five. Oh, no, me. Me first. Indian, I know for sure. All right, now we jump over to player five. Select an answer, player five. Player five says biker. All right, Zach. You get to provide the last answer. He says, the construction worker. All right, now, Zach, is there any one answer you'd like to change up there if you think one of them's wrong? He says, let me think for a second. All right. You can see Zach over there at the uh, captain's podium, thinking it out there. You can see his teammates are really sweating up here. He says, no, he does not want to change any of them. All right, let's see if you're right. Is construction worker right? The, ones, the one you gave, Zach. Construction worker's right. Let's see, let's just see if Indian is right, the one I gave. Indian is right. Let's go ahead and see if the sailor is correct. Sailor is right. Now, Zach, I'm going to give you $20,000. Hang on to that. If you want to keep the money, you can, or if you feel the need for greed, and see if Biker is worth $200,000. What would you like to do, Zach? Go for it, or take the cash? Yes, the other two are Stooge and Teacher. And the one selected is Biker. He's going to go for it. All right, let's see if you're right. For $200,000, is it Biker? It most certainly is Biker. All right, everybody's got $200,000 to split between the four of you. Everybody except Bob has $40,000. And now, if you feel the need for greed, Zach, you can go on for the $1 million question. Before we do that, though, I am going to give you the category. For the, heart, for the million dollar question. It's history. Zach, do you want to continue? Or 
feel the need for greed. All right, he says it better not be weird again, but he wants to feel the need for greed. All right, let's go ahead and activate the Terminator another time. And player three, Terminator's chosen you. Does anybody let's call out? Give me $10,000 if you do, win or lose. Gonna challenge me again. What did I do to these people? I swear. All right, let's see. Zach says I got this. All right, player three gets $10,000 just for challenging. Winner, winner will be playing for $600,000. Loser will be out of the game. Zach, Zach's telling me to go. Here we go. Here is the question. Starting from a thousand, what is the num next number that reads the same forwards and backwards? Nine ninety nine. What? What? Starting from a thousand. Why is that not right? It didn't give me the answer, but it was not nine ninety nine. What? All right. Well, anyways, which of the following are developmental ages? Stone Age, Steel Age, Copper Age, Bronze Age, Diamond Age, Aluminum Age, Iron Age? Zach, would you like to use your freebie to eliminate one of the wrong answers from the question? No, Zach's not going to eliminate a uh, question. Uh, I mean, an answer. He says he wants to work together, and that is fine since I've been eliminated. So, player five is going to select the first answer, Iron Age. All right, player three is going to select an answer. Bronze Age. Okay, and now, Zach, what is your answer? Zach's got this. There's two up there, or actually there's three up there I know that are right. Zach says, what do I think? Well, I know you can probably go with the Stone Age. I think that's one. I remember something about a Steel Age. And I think Iron Age is right, too. So you can go with, I'd go with either stone or steel. All right, definitely stone. Okay, now, Zach, you can either answer the question yourself or pass it off to another player. What would you like to do? All right, which contestant would you like, number five or number three? Number Player number five. All right, player number five, he says the Copper Age. Now, Zach, is there any one answer you'd like to change up there? Or you can go for it if you want. No, you don't want to change? You going to ask me what I think? I'm not entirely sure. I think steel is one of them. But I don't know. Don't quote me on that. He wants to go for it. All right. Let's see if he's right. Stone Age, I know, is right, so we're going to go ahead and show that. Well, I don't know it's right, but I have a feeling it is. All right. Now, I got to. I don't know about the Bronze Age, but let's go ahead and look at it anyways. That's right. I, You know, I have a pretty good feeling about. Well, I don't know about the Copper Age, but we'll see. Copper Age is right. Now, Zach, you got a decision to make. You can stop and take the money that you've won. Or see if Iron Age is worth $1 million. Now, Zach, I don't know if Iron is right. I think it's steel, but I don't know. Zach says he wants to go. So we're going to go for it. Here we go. 
Let's see if Iron Age is worth one million dollars. Oh my gosh, it was iron! I would have been wrong! I would have been wrong! Wow! Wow! Alright, up to a million bucks. Now, we have the two million dollar question. Before you decide to play or pass and, continue and take your money, let me tell you the category. Category is the Bible. Now, Zach, I'm pretty knowledgeable about the Bible, so if you want to continue, I'll help you. He wants to go for it. All right. We're going to have to do another Terminator. Let's activate it now. He says you and me are going for the four million. Come on, Zach. Yes. Terminator's chosen you, Zach. Is there anybody like to call out? I'll give you $10,000, win or lose. He does not. He wants to keep the team the way it is. Okay. Let's see if we can do this for $2 million. Let's see the $2 million question about the Bible. Which of the following are books of the Old Testament? Is it John, which is not, Numbers, which is, Revelation is not, Job is, Acts is not, Joshua, Genesis, Philippians. Okay. Well, first of all, I gotta ask you, would you like to use your freebie? Numbers, Job, Joshua, and I got it. I got it. I got it. I can do this. Let's do it. I got it. I got it, Zach. You want to use your freebie? All right. He's not going to use it. I got this. Player five, you're first. Go ahead. Joshua, that's right. All right. Player three. Let's see. John, that is not right. All right, Zach. You want me to answer for you? I'll tell you, it's either it's Job, Genesis, or Numbers. All right, we're going to go Numbers. And Zach, I'm going to have you answer the next one, too. We're not passing it off to a teammate. So we're going to have it be Genesis. All right, and I know John is not right. That's one of the New Testament books. We're going to reject that, and we are going to go Job. All right, that's what that private school does to you. You learn the Bible and going to church every Sunday, you know it. All right, here we go. I'm right. Numbers is right. As long as the game doesn't screw up. If the game screws up, then it's not my fault. Alright, Job. And we're talking about the book of uh, Philippians in church right now, and that's in, I know that's in the New Testament. Genesis is in the Old Testament. That's the first book of the Bible. Alright, Joshua, you know what? Now, at this point, each of you can decide whether you want to continue on. In front of you is a key worth many keys. Press the G key if you want to go. If you aren't sure, I'll give you a brand new 2005 Dodge Diaper with Viper, excuse me, with all the extras. Just press the H key if you want to go for the car. Now, Zach, I'm pretty confident on, I know I'm 100% confident on Joshua. Do you want to, do you want to go for it? It's up to you. He's going to go for the money. All right, let's see what player three, lock in your answer, please. Lock in your decision. Player five, lock in your decision. Okay, let's see how you decided. Zach's going for the cash. Player three is going for the cash. Player five, your whole team's going for the cash, Zach. For $2 million, is it Joshua? Or two. Two million dollars. Reveal Joshua. It's Joshua! Yes! Alright! Way to go, Bible! Woohoo! Alright, two million dollars. And now, and now, everybody's got a ton of money. Before we decide to continue on with the four million dollar question, category is the presidency. 
the presidency. All right, if you want to go, or you can stop and take the cash. Zach, what do you want to do? The presidency. I don't know about this category. He's going to go, he says all or nothing. All right, let's see what player three decides. And player five is going to decide. Let's see what they decided on, Zach. You're going for the cash. Player three is going for the cash. Your home team's going for the cash again, Zach. All right. So here we go. One more Terminator. Oh, I hope we get you again. Oh, player three. Let's see if player three is going to call anybody out. He's going to challenge you. All right. We got this, Zach. We got this. I'm going to help you here. I'm going to help you. Oh, God. The winner will be playing for $3.2 million and be the brand new captain of the team. Loser will be out of the game with nothing. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. I'm scared. Last name, uh, Twain. That's right. Zach got it. Whew. Luckily, there's, there's only a few Terminator questions, so you can learn them very quickly. All right. Thank you, Zach. It says, good job to me. All right. Two players are left. Which of the following presidents died first? Is it John Adams, John Quincy Adams, James Madison, John Tyler, Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, George Washington, Andrew, or Martin Van Buren? That'd be Andrew Jackson, by the way. Let's go ahead and use the freebie you've been holding on to. Take away one wrong answer. All right. Zach. You need an answer. Which of the following presidents died first? This is tough. You say definitely George Washington. Okay. Oh, Zach, another answer. Sorry. They want you to do another answer. I know the president's in order, so if that's any help to you, it's Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison. We don't have to go any farther. All right, it's going to go Jefferson. Van Buren's a little farther down the list, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, Zach, who would you like to take the next answer, yourself or player five? All right, Zach, what do you say? Please select an answer. It's Washington, uh, John Adams. Okay. Just John Adams or John Quincy Adams? I'm assuming just John Adams. I want to make sure since... So much money's on the line. You mean just John Adams, not John Quincy. Okay, want to make sure. All right. And now, who would you like to take the next answer, Zach? Yourself or player five? Zach's going to do it. All right, Zach. Last answer. Alright, Zach says Monroe. Now, Zach, is there any one answer you would like to change? God. Yes, it does look good to me. 
Well, in order of the presidents, they go Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams. And it was James Madison. So I'm going to say those look good to me. If you're going in chronological order, those look good to me out of the choices up there. All right, let's do it. Don't hold me accountable, though, if it's wrong. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if John Adams is right. John Adams is right. Okay, three more to go. Let's see if Jefferson's right. Thomas Jefferson is right. Let's go ahead and take a look at James Monroe. It's right. Now. Now. Washington. If you're right, it's worth $4 million. Let's see if it's right. It's Washington! Four million dollars! What? Oh my god! That's incredible! Four million dollars! Zach has three million two hundred ten thousand dollars and eight hundred thousand dollars for player five. Way to go! We did it! We did it! That's incredible! Thanks so much for watching our third game of gaming with Zach and Bob. Thank goodness it didn't, uh, be weird on this last game. Uh, Zach, uh, Zach asked how much he won. $3,210,000. It's pretty exciting. That's a, that's a whole lot of money. Thanks so much for watching Game with Zach and Bob. Our three game series of greed. And Zach says he'll split it with me. Well, thank you. You should because I gave you all the Bible answers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching and help control the YouTube population. Always flag inappropriate material. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. And Zach says bye as well.